Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? So I wanna show you really quick how to add a background image. Uh, this is a character from my Skillshare class and I added a free background. So if you wanna add that in, this is how you do it. So first, you're gonna add it the same way we did the reference image. So you just go to reference image right here, go to the little picture, reference image down here. Then you tap on the image and you wanna import. So just hit import and then photos and import uh, any photos that you want to download or use, you can import, tap on it, and then add, and it will import into uh, Nomad. So let's use, uh, I think this is the one that I used. So we'll click on that one, and now you have it here. So just hit transform, because it's going to show up in the background. So hit transform, and then just make it bigger. You can expand it with two fingers like this. So this is very similar to what I did before. And then you just tap to bring back uh, everything else. And now you can take your character and you can kind of just move him down. Usually what I do is I add a box below. So I'll just add a box or something like that. And let's just validate it and use a gizmo. And what I'll do is I'll just stretch the box. And I'll just bring it down. Pretty much to like right under his feet. So I'll just bring it down like that. Let me delete this. So we'll just tap on that and delete it. And I just get rid of that. And I just have some sort of um, surface that he can be standing on. And if I want to match, make sure you tap on the box. If I want to match, you know, one of the colors in the background or something like that, maybe I want to match this color. You just take the little eyedropper. So you tap on this little sphere, you take the eyedropper, you can get whatever color you want, or you can just go here and you can just choose the color. And you can, you can see the color that you're choosing. So you just choose the color you want, you can choose the roughness, things like that, and just hit paint all. You might wanna move, I'll move his little, oh, sorry, I got coffee in there too. Where's the coffee? Here's the cup. Cody. We'll move this so it's on the little table. Like so. And the only other thing that I would do is you just want to sort of light it, kind of uh, related to, you know, the surroundings. So the, the lighting is pretty warm, so that kind of matches. It's not this warm, so I'm gonna bring it, bring it, make it a little cooler. So I would just play around with the lights uh, if you have a different backgrounds, uh, I might add some backgrounds on my on my website that you can download for free. So check out my website uh, on the bottom. I usually have like a downloads thing. So I might add some there or I'll add some to my Gumroad uh, as well. So yeah, but it's really nice to add the lighting. And this is a good way to practice your lighting. If you have a backdrop that has like a light over here, then you can kind of practice. So for example, if I wanted to play like there's a cool light coming from the screen I would use like the edge light which is this light pointing this way and I would turn it a little bit more like that maybe and then I would just try to match that green color on the screen so it's almost like this light is hitting him from from the screen and also I'm using depth of field which really helps too so you do depth of field and you can change how blurry it is. Maybe you just want it like a touch blurry, something like that. And yeah, that's about it. And that's how you add a background. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll put a couple more of these on my website. So check out my website, dropvideo.com. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the class. And if you're here, hopefully you learned how to put a cool background on your 3D sculpts and it really starts looking cool once you once you start matching up the lights, then it really gets believable. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all.